In this video, I want to cover correcting and fixing basically animations that do not animate the hand IK bones. So I do now have a control rig set up inside the example project that pretty much automates this process. So we'll be using that in a future video of the SKG Shooter Framework series. And pretty much we'll be using this reload animation and making it work with IK hand gun. And this is also useful as you can pretty much bake out your own animations with these changes in position things where where you want them. So here you can see part of the issue. IK handgun does not follow with the hand or anything like that. So in the beginning of the tutorial series, we basically keyframed IK handgun in the idle animation inside the hand. And that's fine, but any sort of animation, it's not going to follow the hand as it moves. It's going to stay in place. And then same thing, IK hand R is in the wrong position, along with IK hand L. They do not follow the hand R and hand L bones accordingly. So to begin, we're going to find our hand R and we're going to add a socket. Doesn't matter what the socket's called. And we're going to add the preview asset of the mesh we are trying to use. In this case, it is the M4. So we'll go ahead and add it and try to position it where we want. So I'll just do a quick one, kind of like so. It needs to come left and uh, maybe down a smidge. Yeah, close enough. We'll go up a tiny bit. All right, so here's where we have our socket positioned at, and here's the values. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and inside of the project folder, we have control rig. We have one for UE5 and one for UE4. In this case, we're using UE4, so we're going to drag out the control rig. What we can do is we want to actually open it up, and here you will see a socket offset variable. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy over the values from the socket. So here we have that socket we just made and positioned. We're going to copy over the values from the location as well as the rotation. Compile save. And now we can simply add our animation. So reload rifle hip. And I'm going to make sure that lines up and we can simply bake it out. So I'm going to bake it to the root here. I'll just use default settings, and here we have our new animation, which you can see now, there is no more, well, there is no more second firearm. That's because it's in the correct position. So for example, here is IK handgun. It is now, whoops, following it appropriately. And if you're wondering, this is a animation from the animation starter pack. So if I put that back, and I can just remove all child uh, preview, whatever you call it. You can now see that it follows it correctly. So IK handgun follows exactly where the socket was, as well as hand L. Keep doing that. Hand L is positioned where hand, or sorry, IK hand L is positioned where hand L is, and IK hand R is positioned where hand R is. So those two get corrected as well. And that just overall, well, simplifies quite a bit. So that's all it takes to rebake out and correct an animation that you might be wanting to use with the system that doesn't have the IK hand bones animated. 